Hi, I'm Steve, and Utunes is my app. I'm here to show you version 4 of Utunes. First off, I want to thank you if you're a longtime user and if you've sent me feedback about the app. I appreciate all the great feedback I've had, and this update hopefully has incorporated a lot of what I've, what I've heard from users. So I want to show you a little bit about what has changed, what is new, and hopefully make my debut as the next Star Wars kid. So when you first launch this version, you'll probably notice some changes. Uh, the first thing I want to show you is that you can now tap the name of the station up here at the top, and that will give you the option to open the stream in Safari or find out more information about the station. The second thing is, if your stream has now playing information in it and you want to either tweet that to Twitter or post it on Facebook, or if you like the song and want to find it in iTunes or with YouTube, you can do that by tapping this button right here, next to the volume. So, the next thing I want to show you is seeking. So, previous versions you could seek to or jump to any position in a recording, and I've expanded that with this version so that you can now do it in any stream that is playing live, uh, which is great. So, if you need to pause the stream because you're taking a phone call and then want to jump back to the, to the live part, you can do that, or you can skip back to something you missed, or if you're listening to music and you want to go back to a track that you heard and hear it over again, you can do that as well. So this is done by pushing your finger down on this progress bar here, and you hold it and slide your finger while it's held down, and that will let you skip to any position in the recording. Or you can slide it up to one of these buttons to jump back or forward 30 seconds, or to a previous track, or to the next track. So that is that. So these buttons will not take action until you lift your finger. So if you slide it, you want to go to live, you let go there, and it'll jump to the live stream. Okay, so another thing that has changed is you can actually jump to any track within what you've been listening to live or in a recording by going to recents. You tap the track once, and then you tap it again, and it will jump right to that point in the recording or within the live stream. So that's pretty cool as well. And the next thing I want to show you is the new favorites. So favorites are probably one of the most used parts of, of the app. So now it's just one tap up here of this white heart if you're listening to a new station, if you want to make it a favorite. If you want to unfavorite it, you can do the same, tap it again. But you can also now create groups of favorites. And I'll show you how to do that. So we'll say add this to a favorite group. I'm going to add it to my funk group. And then I'll go in here to favorites. And you see my funk group. And there's the station that I just added. Another thing you'll notice here is with that station, there's now, it's showing what's playing on that station at this time. That is a new crowd-sourced feature, meaning that as long as someone somewhere is using Utunes to listen to that station and it has this information, then everyone who has it in their favorites or in one of their favorite groups is going to see what's playing on that station. So the more people use it, the, the more useful that will be for everyone. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is another way to add favorite groups, and you can do that from a search. So here we go to the searches. I'm going to create, I'm going to go to location. I'm going to let it find my current location. And I'm going to tap this red heart to the right of the search field, and that will ask me if I want to create a group from that search. So what this does is creates a new group in your favorites with all these stations that come up in that search. So it's a nice, quick, easy way to add all the stations in your area or all the stations of a given genre that you like or might like to your favorites. So now we have a new group here, and that can be edited. You can remove what you don't want, etc. So that's favorite groups. Uh, another change is that the alarm clock is now its own dedicated tab here. So I've had a lot of feedback on the alarm clock, 
and this is also the scheduled recording, so if you want to schedule something to record later in the in the night while you're asleep, you can do that here. So you tap edit, and that will let you schedule it or set an alarm. Another thing is that you can tap this and get a nice full screen dark nighttime clock for if you're using this as your radio alarm. And you can change the dimness of that by tapping the time or get out of it that way. So... One more thing I'd like to show is, since this version adds support for the iPad, a lot of people will be wanting to get their favorites from their iPhone to the iPad, and so I added a way to export your favorites. If you go to Settings and then scroll down to the bottom, there's an Export Favorites, and what that will do is let you send them via email to your own email account, and then you can open it from the Mail app on your iPad or on whatever device that is running version iOS version 4.0 or higher, and you can then import them all into your other device. And that is also a nice way to back things up in case you have to later restore and you lose your, don't want to lose your favorites. Okay, that is all I have to show you right now. If you have any feedback, if you have any suggestions for improvements, complaints, please don't hesitate to contact me. I've also revised the help within the app to be a little bit easier for you to use as well as for me to do customer support. So if a station is having problems or you have any other questions, you can do a few taps to find the problem and report it to me. So please don't hesitate to contact me. I'll be happy to answer you. I may not be able to do what you ask, but I will certainly try. Thanks again.